another beautiful day for creating. I have been meaning to render this project for a while now. Perfect. But I would love to see how it looks in the low lighting. What? plenty of videos on YouTube describing how to increase the speed of your cycles render engine and most of them are good most of them will be helpful for light scenes so what is the solution for dark scenes this question has really irked me a lot and the reason is because I actually really like to make more moody darker scenes with a little bit of ambient lighting having a little bit more of that intimate feel here are just a couple of examples of the scenes that I have made before but due to being a little bit darker scenes I have to increase noise threshold quite tremendously which obviously increases the render time in this video all I want to do is just find the settings to increase the speed of darker scenes without losing the whole quality of the image. So let's just get into this. This is a very simple interior scene using just a desk lamp to light the whole scene. I have added HDRI with night sky. I also have added few spotlights and an area light to give a little bit more ambient lighting. But overall, this is a very low lighting scene. Let's test it in our cycles render engine and see how much noise it creates. To test the render settings, I created a scene in Blender 3.4 using Blender Kit assets. I recently viewed blender kit on my channel if you haven't seen that video you can go and check it out i will link it in the cards and now we are gonna jump into blender 4 and test our render settings i have opened scene in blender 4 and first we are gonna adjust a little bit of a depth of field to give a little bit of a nicer look to the image and first we are gonna render it with default settings of cycles as a benchmark the only thing we are gonna change is from CPU to GPU just to not make this render to go for days so let's see what our benchmark time is I mean so the overall rendering time was 2 hours, 18 minutes and 17 seconds. Huh? So what can we do about it? So for the test one, I implied the regular speed increase techniques by reducing sample size to 500 to increase the noise threshold to 0.1 and uh, also enabling fast GI approximation and under performance, I enabled use spatial splits and persistent data. This render finished in 1 minute and 4 seconds, but look at the quality. It is dark, there's a no light bounces, it looks awful. Just look at the comparison with the benchmark and the test one. We definitely can do better, so let's see what can we change to increase the quality. After looking at the test one, I realized that fast GI approximation has to be unticked. That is the reason why light is very squashed and light bounces are not there. So for the test two, I turned off the fast GI approximation and this is the result. The overall rendering time was 4 minutes and 3 seconds, which obviously increased the time from our previous test. The overall rendering time was 4 minutes and 3 seconds, which obviously increased the time from our previous test, but it does look much better. So now let's check it against the benchmark. It looks good, but we see a lot of noise around areas where light and shadow comes together. So let's see what we can do about it. From test two, I tried out so many different variations and combinations of samples versus noise threshold, just to see if that helps me in any way. And I start to lose a little bit hope that I can find a solution. So I went on the internet and did a little bit of a search. What can I do to reduce the noise in a darker scene? During my search on the internet, I came across this video. 
He did something that I didn't expect. He increased the noise threshold past 0.1. Seeing result really surprised me, so might as well just try it out. And lo and behold, it actually worked. Of course, it doesn't come without a cost. The quality of render is reduced and it has slight blur all around. But finding the right ratio between samples and noise threshold is essential. So. I have done a lot of testing. I have done some research trying to find the solutions also for you guys. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. So one interesting finding was about increasing the noise threshold instead of decreasing it. From what I have gathered, let me explain how it works. So the samples are important, but it's not necessarily what dictates the speed of rendering. So as I mentioned, noise threshold is what can really make or break the time you are rendering in. So the thing that I have gathered about the noise threshold is that imagine threshold as a barrier, as a line which pretty much word threshold means. So if you set it at 0.01, your render engine will try to dig to that level of the barrier, trying to find the finest pixels for your, for your rendering. So if you set your noise threshold at 0.5, which is higher than 0.01, it will just dig to that barrier. And basically you will try to say to your cycles engine nah mate there's nothing more there let's just move on to the next pixel basically i hope this analogy actually works <laughs> i'm just trying to basically dial down the whole technical part of it obviously it is going to lose some quality and we can't just skate that what we can do is obviously increase the pixel amount of the image like then to reduce it down like sort of like we can play on resolution to increase the quality what i found for this specific example the best speed to quality ratio was 2k samples which is 2048 samples with a 0.5 noise threshold. The quality obviously in the finer details is lacking, but I think for the reasons like to post on the web where it will be squashed anyway, I think it is a decent quality. If you want to have them as a high quality print, as a G clay print, your your renders, you unfortunately probably will need to decrease the noise threshold. There's no really good way around it, but this is, I think, the best I have found for darker scenes. I want to say thank you to all of you guys that are here already. I am super stoked to see this community growing. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.